Hey everyone and welcome to Windows Report and in this video I'll show you what to do if you get the error 0x872f8f or 0x20000 on Windows 11. So the first solution you should always take in consideration is to run the media creation tool as an administrator. So the first thing you have to do is navigate to the folder where your tool is stored, then right click on it and simply run it as an administrator. From here on check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to perform a clean boot. To do so, press the Windows button, then simply type msconfig and select System Configuration from the search results. Now, in the General tab, make sure to click on Selective Startup and then simply check Load Startup Items and afterwards click on the Services tab and select Hide All Microsoft Services. Now click on Disable All and then select Apply and OK to save the changes. Restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to clear the software distribution folder. To do so, press the Windows button, then head over to File Explorer, go to C, then double click on Windows. Afterwards, scroll down until you find Software Distribution, so double click on it, then head over to Download, and in here simply select everything and delete all the folders that you find in here. Now once done, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. In here, make sure to type the following command or copy paste it from the description below. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to modify the registry editor. To do so, press the Windows button, type in reg edit and select registry editor as an administrator. Now in here, head over to the following location, computer, H key local machine, then expand software, afterwards expand Microsoft, then expand Windows, so scroll down until you locate it and simply expand it, then expand current version, and afterwards scroll down until you find Windows Update and expand it. And now lastly click on Auto Update, right click on an empty space on the right side and select the D word value and simply type Allow OS Upgrade. Now double click on this D word and in the value data type on 1, then press OK. From here on Windows will automatically update your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.